So good afternoon everybody and welcome to the Fisher Tech and Gaming channel. So this afternoon for our first video we are going to begin with building a new city in City Skylines. We're going to build a city, we're going to call it Westbury. This is the map that we're going to start with. So we're just going to hit the road running and uh, start designing some road layout first of all. So you can see we've got our highway junction here. I'm just going to start by putting in a roundabout and uh, start with road layout for some uh, residential and some industrial. So I am using uh, mods in this game. I have the roundabout builder installed. I have traffic manager installed. I've got a few bits and pieces along with a load of assets as well. So we'll just start by sticking down a few of the main roads and then we can use the roundabout tool to add a roundabout into where the junction is. Oh, hang on, before I do that, uh, don't forget to brace roundabouts. If you add connections to the outside, then it ruins it. So you need to brace the roundabout from the inside, and that way when you add connections to the outside, it won't move the roundabout points, and it will stay a proper roundabout. So now we can add these like this, and then we have our highway connection, which is great. And uh, now that we've done that, we can remove our bracing roads, as we don't need those now. Perfect. So I think over this side, we shall build some industrial. Uh, we'll just extend this road slightly. Great. And then over this side, we'll build the residential section. So just extend this for a minute. Okay, let's start on industrial first. I've got, uh, let's use the industry road, which is there. Great, we'll just whack in a layout. I think we'll use a group of uh, grid format. Just drag up. Okay, I shall uh, do some road layouts and then I shall be back with you. Carry on watching. Okay, I think that should do us for now. That's a rough grid layout for what we've got to do. Next, we need to put some water in before we add any people. Uh, so uh, let's do pumping from here. Yeah, that should do nicely. And then we need to drain for this end. Great, perfect. Oh, but uh, you'll notice that as I did the road layout, you'll have seen I deleted quite a lot. I put it down and then I'd delete it and do it again. That's only as I was um, 
laying stuff down just to get the grid layout just to use as guidelines really why is this oh it's probably too deep isn't it uh, yeah, I was using them as guidelines just to see the spacing and try and maximise spacing as much as possible and then I delete it and actually add the lines in properly. So that works nicely. Right, let's just get all of this covered in water. You'll see that I'm trying to lay the pipes under the roads to begin with. That will change, don't worry. That's I, I don't get fussy about water pipes and where they go. But we might as well start with them looking nice. Okay, let's just cover the industrial area. So we will expand down here at some point. So I'll just put a rough water pipe in, connect up. Perfect. So I, I, I uh, do take my time over this. There's no point rushing. Might as well get it right to begin with. If you don't get it right, it just screws you up later on. So, well, well, I say that, you know, water pipes don't matter, but I mean, generally with skylines, you might as well start properly. Great, let's just cover the residential area. Right, that's all that done. Right, just need to connect up the uh, water inlets. Yeah, fine. Uh, we need some power for these. I like just sticking down power right next to them. It just makes it easier than dragging power everywhere around. I have the uh, electric roads mod, so electricity will pass through the roads. So I don't need to worry about the buildings, so it's easier just to put down some wind turbines for these. Power station for our city, let's stick it up here out the way in the industry area. Not going to worry too much about pollution for now. Okay, I think we are nearly there. Let's add some garbage first as well. Now, oh, where do we put this? Oh, let's just let's just use recycling centre for now. Yeah, recycling. We we'll stick out there. Done. Uh, there, there we go. Perfect. Right, I think we're almost ready to start populating. Let's just check traffic manager. I don't want traffic lights, they slow everything down, so we'll turn all of those off. Check the roundabout should be set up. Oh, it's not. Okay, let's set that up. I'll set these as main roads. Perfect. Change those over. It changed just because I did the main roads. So I As said, we'll start this properly that way. Hopefully, traffic doesn't build up too much. Check the enter junction signs. We only want them carrying on if they're on the roundabout because I suspect this is going to be a very busy roundabout, judging by all the traffic coming in for the residential and the industry. I'll just do turn junctions as well. I'm using uh, the latest version of Traffic Manager version 11.4, which is fantastic. I would highly recommend you go and get it. It's the lab's version. It, if you do control click while on these junction turning arrows, they automatically do lane assignments. So you get one lane for turning off, etc. It's just so much quicker and so much better. So uh, thank you for that. That's fantastic. Right, let's add some zoning. We'll start low density. Oh, I don't want to do that. 
I don't want anything across the main road essentially. I don't want houses along them. We'll probably put commercial along them, but see how that's going to automatically fill in that. So we'll use the fill tool instead just to keep the main road free. I quite like doing commercial along the main road. It just kind of makes a bit more sense. And we can always kind of unzone it if the road gets too busy and we have too many people kind of queuing along the road. But for now, we'll just add all of this in. Perfect, right, and then we'll add some commercial as well along this main road. As I said, we'll just start with a small section for now. I certainly don't want it to go all the way up to the roundabout. The roundabout should never have stuff on, but we'll leave that section at the end free as well. Okay, let's zone some industry as well over this side. We'll just zone the whole lot, I think, it makes it nice and easy. Perfect, and then it will just fill as demand goes. Okay, perfect. Let's just check this. I have auto budget installed, but I hate having them on for electric and water because it just gets so annoying. There's never enough. So, perfect, okay. Okay, just before we start zoning, uh, not zoning, uh, actually, pressing play let's add in some walkways just so people can walk everywhere it just helps with traffic and it's quite nice to see so i do have anarchy uh, installed the anarchy mod i try not to use it unless necessary but sometimes you just kind of have to Although these are going in without, which is quite good. We just have footpaths absolutely everywhere. That way they can just get around nice and easy. It doesn't take away too much from our building zone either. Let's draw one along the top here as well. And further across. I'll have to do it this way instead. Otherwise it just misses out that middle road. Or at least I think it does. It's not worth taking the chance when you can just do it like that. Excellent. Okay, well, I think we're ready. Oh no, let's just add a walking path here as well. And that's everyone done. Okay, I think we're ready to press play. Great. Actually, having said that, we should stick some services in first. So, let's stick a police station. Where do we put it? Let's just put it down here for now. That'll do. Put in some fire. I can go around the same area. I'm just trying to utilize space. I don't want to waste space. I hate wasting space. Just annoying. Stick that into some, uh, crematorium, rather. Put that down. We've got tons of money, so you know it's not a problem. Having said that, I don't want to spend the whole amount. Like. I want to make profit in this and once we start making money we'll be good so um but yeah i think that will do for now that covers all of our basic needs okay we shall uh hit play and watch everybody move in here we go
Okay, so now we have our layout and quite a few people moved in. Let's expand the town a bit. I'm thinking we draw some more roads down here and we fill in this area. Uh, let's keep with the big road for now. Down towards the coast. And along. Oh, let's join up with here. Don't think we necessarily need that amount of traffic coming down here but we'll go with that for now we can always change it later on we'll see how we get on um let's bring this out along here don't want it too close to the roundabout oh yeah. no can't do that yeah uh, i could have anarchy that in but we're, we're, let's try not to use anarchy unless we absolutely have to just thinking here if we all right let's fill in this bit first let's stick some smaller roads in so if we drag out from here I'm just trying to line it up so that we utilize all the space i also don't want the junctions too close together either so it's just a matter of playing around with it and finding the right space yeah that's looking good just drag this one along too perfect actually i want this to be industrial wrong type of road oops let's just change all of that perfect so now we can uh, now we can make our industrial zone bigger if we want to now i think we should do something along the coast but Let's just get a bit more money if we can. Check the budget. That should do for now. Yep, perfect. Okay, let's let's uh, let's go along this coastline and put some bits and pieces in along here. So I'll. I'll Stick in some small roads. Oh, wrong tool. There we go. Right. Come down. I'm not worried about demolishing that for now. Again, it's all about trying to use the space. So if we draw there, yeah, that's it. That way we're not wasting any tiles. Let's go along to there. Great, down to there. Might make this commercial, yeah. Let's make this commercial. We've got a load of commercial de demand. Won't worry about residents for now. Again, I don't want to get too close to that roundabout. Okay, let's uh, carry on with doing some work along this coast and uh, see what we can come up with. Okay, so that is the coast area done and occupied. I'm not liking the coastline though, so I think we're gonna put a key in uh, and we'll use a key going along just to smarten up the edge and just make it look a little bit better. 
Uh, where is it? No, that's not what I want. Oh, there. Perfect. Okay. Right, let's see how this goes. I always find this tool a bit frustrating, uh, but we'll just give it a shot and see what happens. I really don't like this view though. There we go. Okay. Right, I'll just carry on and go along and do this. Right, now that we've got our key wall, I think it might be nice to put a pedestrian pathway in. You know, a little pathway that people can walk along that follows the river path. So I shall go along and do that now. Okay, while we're looking at pedestrian stuff, I think we should add a bridge across here. I can see people crossing at the roundabout, and we really don't want that. And I don't really want them crossing further down the road either. I suspect this road will just get quite busy, so let's build a bridge from... I mean, yeah, it can be nice and close, so let's go from here. Here to here, which will do nicely. And Come on, go down, there we go. I can't see because I'm a damn tree. Yeah, perfect, and uh, let's do the same on the other side. Long, down, and up, excellent. Okay, well, I think that will do. Ah, uh, let's just turn off all the crossing now. Force them to use the crossing bridge. Done. And this one. Excellent, job done. Okay, so next on the list i know we need some university which we don't have we've got elementary and high school we just don't have any university i'm not keen on placing universities i'd rather start with a proper campus site and i think we're gonna have to do it the other side of the river i think it'll look nice in this corner so i'll have to go through and detail all the all the seafront with the key uh, and then we'll put a bridge in and go from there so i think to end the episode we'll i'll do this key i'll add the bridge in uh, get the infrastructure there and then for the next episode we shall do the actual uh, university so uh, let's get the key in and let's get the bridge done
Right, now that we've finally managed to get that bridge to work, I think we will call that the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we'll start building the campus, so tune in next time. Thank you very much.